The pressure is mounting for a decision to be reviewed regarding which company will get to make the next fleet of Tynanweir metro trains. According to reports, Hitachi, based here in Newton Aycliffe, is set to miss out on the deal. The new fleet of trains are expected to come into service by 2021, with Nexus choosing to give the multi-million pound contract to an overseas company. Earlier, I spoke to Tees Valley Mayor Ben Houchen, who said he's appalled at the decision and has called a halt to the proceedings. I've learned that Hitachi are no longer in the running for the contract for the metro trains uh, that are being um, acquired and so I thought that we need to make this public now to try and stop that process because once it's officially announced and awarded and is public it's much more difficult to unwind and I'm just asking for that pause for them to reconsider their position and that the Tyne and Weir councils take a more objective view on supporting local businesses and local jobs. Hitachi has been up against Spanish firm CAF and a Swiss manufacturer Stadler for the £500 million contracts. Does this leave Hitachi in a rather precarious position then? Uh, I don't think it does in the long term. Actually, they've got contracts coming up for the East Midlands Railway that they've secured. They're an amazing business, amazing workforce. But actually, when we're looking at the long term and we're trying to say to the world, come and build your trains in Hitachi in the northeast, they would look and say, well, hang on, your own local councils just down the road 20 miles away didn't think they were good enough to build their trains, so why should they build ours? And to me, that is a big problem in the long term that we're going to have to come because of the failure of the town and weir councils. Meanwhile, Nexus has insisted that the process to find a company to build the trains is ongoing and a final decision won't be made until January. The revelation has been a blow to Hitachi, who currently employ 700 people, but they haven't been able to comment due to the current legal proceedings. Similarly, Newcastle, Gateshead and South Tyneside councils could have also refused to comment.